Ezra Jerishi 3 Ezra 6 Now in the second year of the reign of Dariavish Haggai and Zachariahu the son of Ido the prophets prophesied unto the Yahudim in Yahuda and Yerushalayim in the name of Yahweh Elohim of Yahshua'el which was upon them then stood up Zerub Babel, the son of Shilatil, and Yahusha, the son of Yahut Sadach, and began to build the house of Yahuwah at Yerushalayim, the prophets of Yahuwah being with them and helping them. At the same time came un unto them Tatenai, the governor of Aram, and Phoenicia, with Shethar, Bozanai and his companions, and said unto them, By whose appointment do ye build this house and this roof, and perform all the other things? And who are the workmen that perform these things? Nevertheless, the elders of the Yahudim obtained favor, because Yahuwah had visited the captivity, and they were not hindered from building until such time as signification was given unto Deravish concerning them, and an answer received. The copy of the Sepharim which Tatanai, governor of Aram and Phoenicia, and Shethar, Bozanai, with their companions, rulers in Aram and Phoenicia, wrote and sent unto Deravish, to King Deravish, greeting. Let all things be known unto our Lord the King, that being come into the country of Yahda, and entered into the city of Yerushalayim, we found in the city of Yerushalayim the ancients of the Yahudim that were of the captivity, building a house unto Yahweh, great and new, of hewn and costly stones, and the timber already laid upon the walls. And those works are done with great speed, and the work goes on prosperously in their hands, and with all glory and diligence is it made. Then asked we these elders, saying, By whose commandment build ye this house, and laid the foundations of these works? Therefore, to the intent that we might give knowledge unto you by writing, we demanded of them who were the chief doers, and we required of them the names in writing of their principal men. So they gave us this answer. We are the servants of Yahweh, which made heaven and earth. And as for this house, it was built many years ago by a king of Yashadael, great and strong, and was finished. But when our fathers provoked Elohim unto wrath, and sinned against Yahuwah of Yashar'el, which is in heaven, he gave them over into the power of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, of the Kazdim, who pulled down the house and burned it, and carried away the people captives unto Babel. But in the first year that King Koresh reigned over the country of Babel, Koresh the king wrote to build up this house. And the holy vessels of gold and of silver that Nebuchadnezzar had carried away out of the house of Yerushalayim and had set them in his own temple, those Koresh the king brought forth again out of the temple of Babel. And they were delivered to Zerub Babel and to Shesh Batsatsar, the ruler, with commandment that he should carry away the, ve the same vessels and put them in the temple at Yerushalayim, and that the temple of Yahweh should be built in his place. Then the same Shesh Batsatsar, being come hither, laid the foundations of the house of Yahweh at Yerushalayim, and from that time to this, being still a building, it is not yet fully ended. Now, therefore, 
if it seem good unto the king. Let search be made among the records of King Koresh. And if it be found that the building of the house of Yahuwah at Yerushalayim has been done with the consent of King Koresh, and if our lord the king be so minded, let him signify unto us thereof. Then commanded King Dariavish to seek among the records at Babel, and so at Echbektani, the palace, which is in the country of Madai, there was found a roll wherein these things were recorded. In the first year of the reign of Koresh, King Koresh commanded that the house of Yahweh at Yerushalayim should be built again, where they do sacrifice with continual fire, whose height shall be sixty cubits, and the breadth sixty cubits, with three rows of hewn stones, and one row of new wood of that country, and the expenses thereof to be given out of the house of King Koresh, and that the holy vessels of the house of Yahweh, both of gold and silver, that Nebuchadnezzar Tsar took out of the house at Yerushalayim and brought to Babel, should be restored to the house at Yerushalayim and be set in the place where they were before. And also he commanded that Tatanai, the governor of Aram and Phoenicia, and Shethar, Bozanai, and their companions, and those which were appointed rulers in Aram and Phoenicia, should be careful not to meddle with the place, but suffer Zerub Babel, the servant of Yahuwah, and governor of Yahudah, and the elders of the Yahudim, to build the house of Yahuwah in that place. I have commanded also to have it built up whole again, and that they look diligently to help those that be of the captivity of the Yahudim, till the house of Yahuwah be finished. And out of the tribe of Silo Aram and Phoenicia, a portion carefully to be given these men for the sacrifices of Yahweh, that is, to Zerub Babel, the governor, for bullocks and rams and lambs, and also grain, salt, wine, and oil, and that continually every year, without further question, according as the priests that be in Yerushalayim shall signify to be daily spent. that offerings may be made to El Elian, for the king and for his children, and that they may pray for their lives. And he commanded that whosoever should transgress, yea, or make light of anything afore spoken or written, out of his own house should a tree be taken, and he thereon be hanged, and all his goods seized for the king. Yahweh, therefore, whose name is there called upon, utterly destroy every king and nation that stretches out his hand to hinder or endamage that house of Yahuwah in Yerushalayim. I, Dariavish, the king, have ordained that, according unto these things, it be done with diligence.